They are stunning pieces of artwork that would be the envy of any world-class gallery. But this collection of prints, sculptures, and paintings is part of the Art for Healing initiative at the University Medical Center of Princeton at Plainsboro. These works play an important role in the healing process for patients and their families. You know that it makes you feel good. Uh, you, you know that it affects you emotionally, but you don't realize, I didn't realize anyway until reading the research, that it reduces the length of stay for patients. It can reduce the amount of pain medication. Uh, it, it reduces the stress that's felt by families. Hospital CEO and President Barry Rabner knew that building a brand new hospital that opened in May of 2012 offered the unique opportunity to tap into the latest research validating art's ability to promote that healing environment. Local curators, architects, and academics were part of the process, as well as hospital employees, physicians, and other members of the hospital community. They were guided by Rosalind Kama, an expert on evidence-based healthcare design, who also helped lead the art selection process. So when you're under stress and you're manifesting a lot of anxiety, if you come across a scene that is familiar, you begin to feel protected. So it sort of plays against this fight or flight reaction that we have when we're anxious. And so using local artists who paint out in the local scenes tends to then create those recollections for you in a, in a highly technical environment and yet give you that relief. So you're allowed to walk up to a work of art, pause, exhale. The artwork includes structural elements such as a soothing meditative water wall in the hospital's main lobby. The Chapel of Light features a stunning display of rainbow color in the midst of a quiet sanctuary. In addition to the Art for Healing gallery on the first floor, Virtually every floor opens to artwork that is hand-picked with the mission to evoke good feelings. There's also a practical element to the placement. When you're in a hospital, you're usually lost. And by putting significant pieces like this one, which I love for a lot of other reasons as well, but you put it at the end of a long corridor, and when people walk by and they look down, they go, oh, that's the corridor I came in on. The hospital retains permanent pieces, as well as rotating works that showcase local artists. One of them is Murray Sturkin, a Princeton-based printmaker. I was just overwhelmed by the beauty of it all and how well the art looks. So uh, when, when I got the call that they would like my work to be in the gallery, I really was, was very pleased. That's what every artist hopes for. The artwork is purchased through gifts from people in the community, allowing the hospital to have great art as well as the latest and greatest in technology. Because of all this, the University Medical Center of Princeton at Plainsboro is serving as a model for hospitals all over the world. We've been doing some consulting. China and, and India and Russia and Poland and Turkey. Uh, Macedonia most recently. So it's been fun for us to be able to share that experience with others and so hopefully we're having an impact uh, here in Plainsboro and Central Jersey and then even even beyond that in Beijing.